Thinkorswim is one of the best trading platforms available and offers literally dozens of different ways to buy or sell stock. Today, we're going to be diving into the five most popular methods and a few examples of how they're done. The very first method that we're going to talk about is available on nearly every screen within Thinkorswim, and that can be found by coming up here to the very top of the page and simply finding the current price of the stock and clicking on it. So in this case, with Apple currently pulled up, we can see it's currently trading for 128.15. And if I click on that, you can then see a little menu pops up down here below asking exactly what it is we want to do. Do we want to buy the stock? Do we want to sell the stock? Or do we want to use a custom order, which is a more advanced trade? So just as a quick example, if I were to come up here and click on the buy button, you can see that that immediately built out an order ticket down here below to actually buy the stock. Now the pre-filled parameters in here are gonna depend on whatever your default is, but down here below, we could then specify exactly how many shares we wanted to buy. We could come to the right and specify the price we were willing to pay, the order type we wanted to use, and then how long we wanted that order good for. Once happy with it, we would then just come down here below and hit that confirm and send button and actually submit the trade. But again, that's going to be the very first example and probably the simplest way to place a trade within Thinkorswim. The second method that we're going to be talking about is actually by clicking on the bid or asking price of the stock that we want to buy or short. Clicking on the asking price of the stock is going to build out a buy ticket, whereas clicking on the bid price is going to build out a sell ticket or a ticket to short the stock. That'll be anywhere you see a bid or ask, but if I were to come over here to my watch list section right now, you can actually see I've got a column for both of those right here. So if we were to come down below and look at AMD right here, we can see the current bid price is $64.88 and the current asking price is $64.89. If I wanted to build out an order ticket to buy that stock right now, I could actually just click on the asking price. And you'll see as soon as I did that, it built out an order ticket just the right to buy the stock just like before. If I instead wanted to short the stock right now, I could come over here to the left and click on the current bid price, $64.90. Now looking over here on the right, we can see it is a red order ticket, which means we're about to sell the stock. And if I don't have any shares of AMD right now, this is automatically going to be a short position. But again, that'll be the second method, and it's simply done by clicking on the bid or asking price of the stock or option or future that you want to buy or sell right now. The third method, and probably the fastest way to place a trade within Thinkorswim, is going to be through the use of the Active Trader. That can be opened up on any of your charts by coming over here to the far right-hand side of the chart window and finding the toolbar over here. Then all you need to do is find the Active Trader, or in my case, it's abbreviated right now as AT, and click on that. This tool can be used to place trades incredibly fast, but it's also a lot more complicated than the other examples, so I would really recommend checking out this video here to go much more in depth on how to use it. But just as a quick rundown, we will go through how to use it. And before we do, let me also mention that if I were to come up here to the stock symbol box in the upper left-hand corner, Let's go ahead and flip that over to a different stock ticker. In this case, just for example's sake, let's go ahead and throw in, I don't know, Bank of America, BAC. You can then see that the active trader ladder over here on the right is now the AT ladder for Bank of America. So anytime we click on any of these buttons in here, we're placing a trade on this stock on Bank of America right now. If we were to first start at the top of the active trader ladder and work our way down, you'll notice that the buttons at the very top here are going to be used to place market orders on the underlying stock. So we've got the buy market button, we've got the sell market button, and then the little arrow over here on the left hand side, if I click on that, down here below in the quantity box, we can actually see how many shares we're going to be trading anytime we click on those buttons. You can also see that the little auto send button over here on the right hand side, if I were to check mark that, that'll be the way to get rid of the confirmations within this window so we can place the trades even quicker. So now if I were to come up here and hit buy market, I have instantly bought 100 shares of Bank of America at the market price. You can also see right down here below, it actually tells me exactly how many shares I currently have. So I currently have 100. You can see to the right of it, I bought those shares for $34.61. Now, if I wanted to sell them right away, I could just come up here and hit sell market. And now I have instantly sold those same 100 shares. 
If you instead wanted to place limit orders or stop orders, you could come down here below to the ladder itself and simply click to the left or right of the price that you wanted to buy or sell at. Clicking in the big column or the green column would place a buy order. Coming to the right in the asking column or the red column would place a sell order. So just as an example, if I wanted to buy 100 shares of Bank of America, if it ever dropped down to, let's say, 34.55, if I were to come to the bid column or the green column and simply click in that box there, you can now see I've got an open order to buy 100 shares of Bank of America if it ever drops down to 34.55. And I could also see that over here on the left-hand side directly on the chart. If I were to come over here and cancel it out, and if I instead wanted to place a sell order to short Bank of America, if it ever went up to, let's say, 34.69, I could just click in the little red box to the right of that. And now I've got an open order to short 100 shares if it ever reaches 34.69. But again, this tool can be a little bit more complicated if you're just getting started. So I would really recommend you watch that video I made, which goes much more in depth on how to use it. So you guys really get the hang of it. Now the fourth method that we're going to talk about is simply by right clicking on the chart itself where we want to place that trade, then coming down here below and selecting if I want to buy the stock or sell the stock. Just keep in mind that since I have the auto send selected on that active trader, if I were to click on buy or sell, the order is going to go out there instantaneously. So right now if I were to come here and hit sell, you can see I have immediately placed an order to short the stock if it ever reaches that price where I right clicked. So in this case, you can see my order is at $43.86. If I were to cancel that out and instead come down here below the price to around, let's say 30, and if I right clicked here, I could again come up here to the top and click on buy. And now I've got an open order to buy 100 shares if Bank of America ever goes down to, it looks like 29.86. But using the chart itself is definitely a very popular way to place trades. Just keep in mind that you want to turn off that auto send button if you don't want your trades to go out immediately. Now the fifth and final method that we'll be going through is through the use of the other trade buttons right here on the chart. Coming back over here to the toolbar, that's going to include the trade button, which is the top button right here, as well as the dashboard button right down here below. The trade button is going to be the one right up here on the top, and if you're looking at it, you might see a lot of similarity to the active trader, except it's just going to be those top buttons. So right here we can see the buy market, the sell market buttons, as well as the quantity boxes where we can adjust it. So right here you would of course just hit buy market if you wanted to buy the stock, sell market if you wanted to sell the stock, and then the dashboard buttons down here below as well to buy or sell the stock. Although I really doubt you will ever use these ones, I wanted you to know it's here. Now there are quite a few other ways to buy or sell stock within Thinkorswim, but those are going to be a few of the more popular methods within here. Hopefully after that you now feel at least a little bit more comfortable with how to place trades inside of here, but definitely feel free to check out this video next to learn more. Otherwise I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you on the next one.